Yo, this is Bradley for Stuff and Things, a YouTube channel in which I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things, and today is just a short, quick video update. This package here, which I've already ripped into but I haven't actually looked into, is from Zippo, Bradford, PA. I sent two lighters to Zippo. Both of them had screwed up hinges. They were just very loose, shaken all over the place. People who have Zippos might know that after a while, the, the uh, hinges tend to get that way with use. <clears throat> so they're almost unusable, having a hard time closing. They would get so offline that they would start hitting the Zippo lighter insert when they tried to close. And there are two nice brass cases, so I figured I'd send them back to Zippo. Zippo has a lifetime warranty. You can send any Zippo lighter back to them and they will fix if they can or replace it if they can't. So I thought I'd see how long it would take, how well they did in terms of the repair. And then I also had a special request. Since I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, and I do smoke a pipe, I asked if they could include two pipe lighter inserts, because they usually include a new insert when they fix a lighter. And so I want to see if they actually did that. So here we go. We have our package. Let's see what's inside here. Numero one. We have a little consumer guide to Zippo lighters. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. So this has company, company information, then it goes through all the model numbers and the years and different collections. Very cool. Care instructions, and then a recent catalog. I will have to peruse this at a later date. Interesting. What else do we have? It works or we fix it free. We don't make that promise lightly. We know that behind every Zippo product sent for repair is an owner depending on our promise to get it back in work order. Whether a lighter is 5 years, 25 years old, or 50 years old, it will serve as a dependable source of flame for years to come, we guarantee it. Thank you for entrusting us with the repair of your Zippo product. We are pleased to repair it and return it to you in first class working order. George W. Booth, President and CEO of Zippo Manufacturing Company. Um, then it just talks about tips for when you have to repair your lighter, make sure you don't have any fuel in it. A note with your name, what you want done, yada yada yada. You can get a tour of Zippo. Interesting. Yeah. Care instructions for your brass Zippo lighter. Oh, so this, they realized since I had brass cases on my lighters, they have instructions on how to care for them. I let mine get pretty tarnished and nasty because I think that looks kind of cool, but you could use metal polish to clean them up. Pocket date code guide. Okay, so this shows you how to identify when your Zippo was made. This is all very cool. I like this. Now, where are the actual lighters? Let's see. What's this? Ah, with our compliments. Enclosed are two genuine Zippo flints to keep your Zippo windproof lighter in peak condition. Always use Zippo lighter fluids, flints, and wicks. So, if you can see in there, two little flints. Very cool. Okay. Okay, here's one of my old lighter inserts. This one was broken, by the way. So I guess they just returned that to you. Barcode, which I'm assuming helps them know which lighter this went to and where it's going back to. My other insert. This one still worked. This one can just go in the trash. All right, here we go. First lighter. Nice brass case here. This is a the solid brass. And this was a a G G05. I guess if I look at that card, I can know what that actually means. Anyway, let's rip into this thing and see if they included my pipe lighter insert and see how the hinge goes. This one, the hinge wasn't quite as bad. It was just kind of off center. So let's see how that works now. Oh, look, yeah, pipe lighter. And uh, what? Oh, for a second, I thought that was brass. Let me look at this. It is. That pipe lighter insert is brass. They matched it to my lighter. And it's perfectly lined up, or, well, pretty much. <laughs> Works great. Oops. 
Lovely. I can't believe that they matched the pipe insert to the kind of case I have. That is very cool. So there's one. Second one here. This one was a little more well used. Ugh. Maybe I should have pre peeled these stickers. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're coming with me. Ah, come on now. Here we go. All right. Aha, now this one just has a plain, you know, metal, <laughs> chrome colored. But this one has brass. That is so interesting. Very cool, though. I think this finish, this one is solid brass. And then this one was that antique that starts out as kind of a brushed looking finish, but it's made to sort of rub off an antique in your pocket. You can see there. And I want to see, I don't know if they just, did they spot weld new hinges on here or what? I need to take a closer look, not in the viewfinder. Yeah, I can't tell what they did, but the hinges are absolutely fine now. They're actually tighter. Not tighter necessarily, but they just seem like they have way less wiggle than they did when they were new. Which is very cool. So here we go. I have two completely refurbished Zippo lighters now with pipe inserts. One of which they included a really cool brass insert to match my brass lighter. That's very cool. Excellent. Well, there you go. Some people complain that Zippo, the quality isn't quite where it, what it used to be in the past. I don't know. I'm not that old. I don't have a lot of old Zippos. I don't collect Zippos. I've just had them. Oops, bumping the camera. I've just had them to use. Um, but regardless of what the quality or the manufacturing quality may be, their customer service is top notch. Highly recommend Zippo. If you have any lighters that are laying around that you haven't been able to use, send them in. There are instructions on their website. Maybe I'll even link to it in the description for this video. Send them in, they'll get them back to you. They got these back to me in less than two weeks. I sent these out on a Saturday, so they probably didn't go out on, until a Monday, and I got them two Saturdays later, or 14 days, two weeks. Can I say this in a more simple way without sounding like a fool? I got them two weeks later on the Saturday. So probably turnaround time, less than two weeks. Very impressed. Very impressed with Zippo Lighter. Highly recommend you send in your old lighters if they need repair. Thanks for watching. This has been Stuff and Things. I have been Bradley. Don't forget to subscribe to the Stuff and Things channel. We will have many more videos to come. Thanks a lot.